And Dr. Kresimir Jug is a health and wellness expert, founder of Life by Design, and a wannabe chess player. Please welcome Kresimir Jug. All right. Bruce Lipton taught us that a cell cannot be in a state of growth and defense at the exact same time. Now, when we talk about cells, we're literally talking about microscopic organisms. But if something is true, it's true when we can apply it to everything. We can apply that to a human being. We can either be in growth or defense at the same time. Now, how do most people live their life? In a state of growth, living their values, living their dreams? Or do most of us do things to avoid something we don't want? Do we train um, because we want to avoid getting fat? Or do we want to be healthy? Do we go to the doctor because we just not want to have cholesterol? Or because we actually want something from it? Right? Most people, unfortunately, live for things that they don't want. And what we have to start doing is we have to start doing the opposite. Now, when we, we're going to actually look at some real-world examples with this. Where humans should be is at the top, self-actualizing, creating their own destiny. Not at the bottom here, living in physiological need. Okay? In 1971, Richard Nixon declared the war against cancer. And ever since then, cancer rates have been rising. It's growing exponentially now. Cancer is killing more people today than heart disease ever did. Okay, in 1964, Lyndon Johnson declared the war against poverty. And ever since then, poverty has, we heard, the, we heard the speaker before, poverty has increased. We have more people living in the system. It's costing us more money. And the gap between rich and poor is getting larger and larger. George Bush in the early 90s, the war on terrorism. And ever since we started the war on terrorism, how have we done? More war, more fighting, more terrorism. Right? The problem with this philosophy, guys, is the best that it can do is it can get us to zero. This is like starting in business and hoping that your goal in business is just not to go bankrupt. When I married my wife, Rochelle, I didn't marry Rochelle just not to get divorced. I married her because I loved her. I wanted to create something. Right? I joke around with my New York Jet fans. You guys have a quarterback that you play just not to lose the game. We got to start winning the game. All right, now call me crazy, but Einstein's definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. But that's what we're doing. We're doing the same thing over and over again, and we want something different to happen. Well, it's not going to happen until, until we start challenging our belief system. We have to look at what we're doing, and we have to start asking, is this what we want? We have to start doing things a little bit differently. We have to start living for something. It's this concept of light and darkness, right? The, the, I'm standing in the light right now. Over here is darkness. The only way I can get rid of this darkness is to turn on the light. What if instead of living to, against cancer, what if we started living for health? What if we started living for abundance and not poverty? What if we started living for peace and love and not against terrorism? We're going to look at some of the most powerful movements that people have created in the world, and they were all for something. Jesus Christ came in the world and he told us, I'm here for you, meaning us, to live in abundance. In abundance, not just to get by. He wanted us to, he created a movement on love and on relationships and on peace. One of my favorite philosophers, Ayn Rand. The achievement of life is not the equivalent to avoiding death. That statement gives me goosebumps. Here's a lady that's been dead for 20 years, best-selling author. 500,000 copies of Atlas Shrugs sold last year. Steve Jobs, other companies were downsizing. Steve Jobs said, we are going to create a product that is going to make people open up their wallets and buy it. And they did. So when we look at the most powerful movements, they were created by people that worked towards something, not against something that they didn't want. This is the way that we have to position ourselves. This is what we have to start doing. The greats didn't shy away. They stepped up and they did it. Now, the scary part is, is as soon as you step up, you're going to draw a line in the sand. You're going to say, I'm on this side of the line. And as soon as you do that, some people are going to shy away. But the good news is some people are going to come towards you. And I think that we owe it to ourselves, to the future generation, to the rest of the world, to step up and start living for what we want, not against what we want. Okay, our children really do deserve better. And I know you guys have heard this quote probably a million times in your life, but nonetheless, 
One of my favorites. Be the change that you want to see in the world. Thank you.